Good morning, everybody. Welcome to our English class. Unit 2, grade 8, unit 2. I feel at home already. So today we have page 16. We read number 1 and 2. And this is Elias Hariri with you. At the beginning, let's read the conversation. Let's read the new words and repeat them. Unit 2. Period 1. Activity 1. Carpet. Curtain. Dining room. Hall. In time. Put up. Wardrobe. Word formation. By the bed. By car. By next Saturday. Over the bridge. Over a year. More than. Okay. Unit 2. We period 1. Start with the new words. So the first one is carpet. It is now. A floor or stair covering made from thick woven fabric or cloth. And this is a picture of a of the carpet the house has wall to wall carpets throughout number two curtain and the picture of curtain is now a piece of material hang to cover the window example heavy curtains blocked out the sunlight dining room it is the place or the room in the house or a hotel in which meals are eaten. So, when you eat in a room at home, it means or we call it dining room. For example, the new building has a dining room, kitchen and bedroom. Hall, a large room for meetings and invite visitors. Okay, my dad likes to eat in the hall while he is sitting down just in time so when we say in time it means early enough for example the doctor likes to be in time because he wants to prepare before his work and when you come in time it means you are already in the class or in the place before the exact time Put up, it means to attach or hang something to a wall. For example, I remembered that I put up a new shelf at the top. Wardrobe, noun, okay, at all covered in which you hang your clothes. Example, you hang his suit in the wardrobe. Now, after we finish with the new words, listen to the conversation here. Period 1. Activities 3 and 4. The Kadiri family have lived in London for over a year. Now Grandma is going to visit them. Grandma is arriving in a week and we haven't prepared the guest bedroom yet. Yes. We've been talking about it for ages, but we still haven't done anything. So there's a lot to do by next Saturday. Let's make a list. Good idea. First, we need to choose a new carpet. And buy a new wardrobe. Choose a new carpet. Buy a new wardrobe. I've already seen a nice wardrobe. I can get it today. Now, what else? The Kadiri family have been working hard for the past week, but they still haven't finished. Grandma's arriving soon, and we haven't put up the curtains yet. You and Walid do that, while Lana and I go to the airport. Two hours later. Fantastic! The curtains are up! We finished just in time. The others have already arrived. They're in the hall. But we still haven't done the flowers. Quick! 
20 minutes later. And here's your room, Mother. It's wonderful. And I love the flowers. They're my favourites. I feel at home already. Okay, in everyday English, we can use I love the flowers. They're, me, they're my favourites. Period 1. Activities 3 are... We have exercise number three after we listen and read the conversation. Listen and answer the question. Who are the people in the picture? Who are the people in the picture? Mr. and Mrs. Gadri, their son Walid, and their daughter Lana, and Grandma, Mrs. Gadri's mother. Number two, what has just happened? What has just happened? Mm -hmm. Grandma has just arrived. Number three. What have the family been doing for a week? Yes, they, they've been getting Grandma's room ready. And the last one. Can Walid now tick the last two things on his list? Yes, he can. With period number two, page 17, we have a new an exercise, exercise number one, read, add the new words from period one, make any changes needed. And here we have, uh, the, so listen and add the new words that you hear. Period two, activity two. One, A. Where would you like me to put up this picture? B. Over there, please. Between the window and the new wardrobe. 2. A. These curtains are just the right size for the window. B. And the colour goes well with the new carpet. 3. A. Let's put some flowers in the hall. Near the front door. B. Good idea. And we need another chair for Grandma when we eat in the dining room. 4. A. We need to get to the airport by 3 o'clock. B. Yes. We must be there in time to meet Grandma. We mustn't be late. 5. A. It's amazing that we can go almost anywhere in the world by plane today. B. Yes. I've heard that over a million people are in the air at any time, day or night. Okay. Now, after you check the words, the new words, and you wrote most of the new words, now let's see the missing words. Where would you like me to put up this picture? Over there, please, between the window and the new wardrobe. These curtains are just the right size for the window. And the color go well, goes well with the new carpet. Let's put some flowers in the hall near the front door. Good idea. And we need another chair for Grandma when we eat in the dining room. We need to get to the airport by three. Yes, we must be there in time to meet Grandma. We mustn't be late. And number five, the last one. It's amazing that we can go almost anywhere in the world by plane today. Yes, I've heard that over a million people are in the air at any time, day or night. Period two. Activity. We have the next exercise, page 17, exercise number 3. Read again and answer the question. We have the first part one day. What is going to happen in a week's time? What is going to happen in a week's time? Okay. Grandma is going to arrive. Number 2. Have the Kadiri family finished preparing the guest room, guest bedroom yet? Mm -hmm, yeah, no. They haven't. 
Number three, what is Walid starting to do? He is starting to make a list. And the last, what important thing for the bedroom has Mr. Gadri already seen? He is already seen a nice wardrobe. That's all for tonight. Have a nice day and good luck.